My name is Mark Shriver, and I'm Associate Professor of Anthropology and Genetics at Penn State University. In my lab, we're concerned primarily with the question of how evolution has made us who we are today. Specifically, we're focused on understanding the diversity of human form, the exciting variety of skin, hair, and eye color, hair texture, and especially facial features. We know that the majority of human genetic variation is distributed within populations, and only a small amount of the total variation is distributed across populations, potentially accounting for the differences between populations. The primary research focus in my lab is this superficial phenotypic diversity. We're asking, how and why did this superficial diversity evolve? How do we find genes that determine traits that vary across human populations? What roles did natural and sexual selection play in determining the pattern of variation we see? And how might we think differently about ourselves and each other when we realize that our differences are literally superficial? Over the past 10 years, my collaborators and I have answered at least some of these questions. That is, we've helped clarify how admixed populations can be uniquely useful in finding rapidly evolving genes and have discovered some of the genes that account for some of our human diversity. My collaborators and I discovered four genes that contribute to a large proportion of the variation in skin color between West African and European populations. Two of these also lead to pigmentation variation in different species of fish. More recently, we've demonstrated that people can perceive the individual effects of genes on normal range variation in the human face, a very active research focus in my lab now. Work in my lab involves several steps. One, doing field work to collect relevant trait data and DNA samples. Alternatively, working with collaborators who've already ascertained population samples. Recent field work has included sampling in Isla Melanesia, Europe, Rome, Warsaw, Dublin, Paris, and Porto, Brazil, and the Cape Verde Islands. Two, performing molecular analyses of relevant genetic markers, a process that often involves high-throughput SNP genotyping. Three, performing statistical analyses and evolutionary interpretations. In addition to these major facets of work in my lab, prospective graduate students can also find exciting opportunities collaborating with the forensic science program here at Penn State University. In fact, the major application of my work is molecular photo fitting. That is, predicting the appearance of a person based on DNA. For example, DNA left by a perpetrator at a crime scene. Although a primary focus of my lab's work is superficial traits, we do have several active projects focused on mapping genes for diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, preterm premature rupture of membranes, and interuterine growth retardation. Finally, my lab has made important strides in video production and outreach. That is, I teach classes where graduate and undergraduate students can learn to make their own educational science videos. The purpose of these videos is to educate the public about what we scientists are doing to help the public understand that they too can grasp the science underlying genetics and evolution, to encourage the public to support and participate in research, and to send a message about why science is important to everyone, not just working scientists.